Oh, hey, so just to follow up, I uh, did put a level on this in a square, and I found that that leg that I'm messing with was off by about a degree, and I saw there was a, the shelf and the side rail was catching up. I could see the shininess on the wood. So I took it apart, paired off about a uh, 32nd of an inch. Um, these are pretty tight joints, and it seemed to uh, do the trick. Uh, everything leveled up perfectly. I got rid of that one degree of problem. So precision counts in everything you do in this kind of work. I measured my joints. I've got a couple that are gapped. The one, the one that I decided not to mess with anymore turned out to be 145th of an inch. So, okay, I'm in the zone now where I need to stop worrying about it. Like I'd say within a 30 second is fine. This is a workbench. So I'm obsessing about this because I don't want to like cut corners, but I do have to call it because if I tried to like get it perfect, I could. It's going to take me a lot of a lot a lot of time and I'm really not that interested in having it be perfect because it is it is a is meant for working on wood and to be beaten up. So, I don't need to get it to, you know, a hundredth of an inch. So, anyways, I'm putting it back together here. It is tight. So now I get to see if my little 32nd of an inch pairing worked, and it did. This thing came together just sweet. And now that it's in, the tusks will tighten it up. So those slip in, and just a little bit of, a little bit of uh, pressure down is enough. Don't want to split those boards out, but just a little bit of a tap. And that's, now she's nice and solid. Now let's just take a little look around and I'll just show my joints. I'm not afraid. Here's where I got out the level and it's really, really, really square on all four legs, which is quite a miracle <laughs> for me. This being my first mortise and tenon sort of woodworking project to have all of those pieces all come together. Um, it just shows that if you measure right and take your time, you'll be good. And so there's just some close up of of the joints, I'm not afraid to to show to show it. I mean, there are there are issues, there are small gaps, but again, you know, I'm being too obsessive. This is this is fine. I don't know if it's like commercial quality, but it it's certainly my workshop quality. That's that gap there was one forty fifth of an inch. I measured it in millimeters and converted to inches. You know, my um, my little. Um, Gauges are in mill in metric. I don't know why why I bought it that way, but this is this is pretty good. There's a view of the pegs that go through the legs on both sides. Everything's nice and flat, level, square. Decent joints. Pretty happy with it. Maybe I'm just trying to blow time not to go work on the top, which is next. Okay, that's all then.